Hello Stampers, today I'm going to be showing you how to make this cute little treat box. For the um, decorating part of it, I used our On a Pedestal stamp set, and then I used our Teeny Tiny Wishes stamp set, and then on the background, you'll notice I stamped, I used the Circle Circus stamp set. First thing you want to do is cut a piece of cardstock at 3.5 by 11. I chose Melon Mambo for that. And then um, what you want to do is, I already scored it, but we're going to go over the score score lines. First thing you want to do is score it at 2.5, and, and then you're going to score it again at 5, then at 7 and 5 eighths, and then 10 and 1 eighths. I'm going to fold those over, use the bone folder and get that edge really nice and folded down so it's easier to work with later. You want to make sure you do all your stamping before you do that. And then what I did is to decorate it, I stamped her on pedestals on Whisper White with the markers. I punched out a small oval in chocolate chip and then set a clear rhinestone brad. And then I added a little strip of ribbon over here. This is our one inch double stitch chocolate chip grow grain. And then I put dimensionals on the back. And you're gonna wanna put that on there first. Then the next thing you want to do is add a little bit of sticky strip to the side over here. This is your back piece. And you want to use sticky strip because whatever you put inside here is going to be a little bit heavier. So you don't want your box falling apart when you give it to somebody. I'm going to take that and just do that quick. Then we're going to set this piece aside. Next thing you want to do is cut a piece of cardstock at three and a half by three and a half. I did it in the melon mambo, mambo, and I scored that at half an inch all the way around. And then I cut the little tabs in so we can make our box. I already put some snail or sticky strip on the little tabs, so we're going to fold them up. Create your box. Then I kind of pinched the corners a little bit so they're more squared, not rounded. Once you've done that, what you want to do next is take some sticky strip and wrap it around your box. Because again, you want to do this around the base of this so when you put your box together and you give it to somebody, it doesn't fall apart. So you have that. We're going to set this aside for a second. Next thing I did to make this little border at the top, I cut a piece of designer paper 1 inch by 11 inches and then I punched it out with my scallop edge punch. And we're going to add that on there right away before we put our box together. So we're going to flip this over and add some snail. Using our grid paper here, I'm going to line this up. So I 
get this on here straight. Trim off any little overhang you might have. Now we're ready to put our box together. So, what you're going to do is flip it over, and then you're going to peel off the backing on the sticky strip. And then you're going to put this in here on the bottom, like this. And then just start wrapping your box around. And push down as you go. So you get it nice and stuck on there nice and tight. And then you're going to peel this piece of sticky strip backing off. And fold this over on there. And you're going to kind of line up your scallops up here at the top so they're nice and centered. And there you go, you've created your box. And then what I did for the inside is I put little M&Ms in there, punched out our teeny tiny wishes wishes with the modern label punch and added it on with some of our ribbon and then I just stuck that inside and it's ready for a gift. Thank you.